Hello, this is your Sunday host, Miss Anarchy. Um, I'm dressed up smart, especially for the occasion. I'll do just twirl. Yeah, I know, I scrub up well, don't you think? Okay. So, this week's challenge was to draw the host from the day before. And this posed a particular problem for me because I don't know Shmoo at all. Like, I've never met her, I've never spoken to her. Literally, this is the first thing that I've ever even heard of her existence. I don't mean that in a harsh way because she seems like a really nice girl. So, this is what I came up with. Um, I spent l loads of time on it, so you gotta appreciate the artisticness. I've just realised it comes across backwards, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> okay, well that was a stupid mistake. So, I've redone it and it's kind of spoiled it so there's not really a surprise. But, that is my drawing of Shmoo. Like, that's the question mark, I just drew a little cat there because I like, I don't like cats. You know, whatever. Okay, questions this week was, uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And I thought that was a pretty stupid question, like, not, no offence Mick or anything, but I thought that was a pretty stupid question because I don't, I'm one of those people that doesn't really look that far into the future, like, I don't even know what I'm going to have for breakfast tomorrow, I'm kind of one of those people, um, but I used to be, like, looking into the future a lot when I was a kid, so I've reverted back to my eight-year-old self and answered the question and seeing if any of it has come true. And this is the footage I got. Um, in 10 years, I see myself um, driving uh, with my own car and I'm going to have moved out of my mum and dad's house and I'm going to live with my boyfriend, whoever he's going to be. And, um, uh, I'm going to get good grades at college and stuff so then after that I can go to university and look after all the animals and stuff and I'll be able to do my hair however I want it and dress how I like and um, I'll go out with my friends all the time and have loads of fun and uh, I don't know, that's about it really. I don't know what else. Um, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Oh god, I was so naive. You're such a sweet little girl. Um, yeah. Let me, let's see if any of that's true. I live with my parents, still. I'm single. I haven't had my first driving lesson. I don't have a car and I don't go out partying all the time because I don't have any money. And yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at college. So does it really matter what I say now? Like what I'll be like in, in the next 10 years? Because what I say now, it will probably be di totally different. So there's no point in me answering the question. But I answered it if you asked me in the past, so you can't kind of pick fault with that. So yeah, if a kid comes up to you and like, oh, in ten years I'm gonna be, I'm I'm gonna be a rock star and blah 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 blah, just say, honey, grow up. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say today. I really enjoyed dressing up, so thanks for that suggestion, Mike. It was really good, Mick. Mike, Mick. Oh my God, I forgot your name. Ah, um. <laughs> yeah, so this is Miss Haraki signing off. Until next time. <laughs>